you're selecting the logo, but rather put the top constraint on the user interface. Yes. Okay. The reason is because if you put the bottom constraint on the uh, logo, what's going to happen is going to affect the whole thing that depends on the username. Yeah. Oh, I can tell. Like, yeah, it's just. Is that just like out of experimentation or? No? Yeah, it has to be out of experimentation. Yeah, but the thing is, it's, 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 I think I'm a little bit like this. Like oh, the okay. person uh, that link you the links and can get dragged to the face. Like if you link the, the logo, it's gonna get dragged down to the. Uh, I can't explain the image. Uh, I can't. So let's say this is logo here, this is logo, and there is 10 text here. Text field? Yeah. No, not text field, text. And then this is text field. Okay, so let's say I have a constraint from this guy to here. Right? right? Because uh, you want these two to be on par <coughs> every screen, uh, like every telephone, so that this description is not like too far away from like the buttons or too close that will like overlap each other. You just want to maintain this gap consistent for across all the mobile phones. So that's something you need to think about. So let's say I add constraint from here. This guy, from here to here. Not from here to here but from local to username. Now, assuming this screen size is 300, this height, 300. I said that this local must maintain the same aspect ratio. So ratio must be the same for all across the platform, meaning this size will alter depending on your phone screen size. Now, this changes some iPad phone, iPad screen size, like 600. Now, this thing will get really large, and this thing should also get large. But since you add constraint here, it also makes sense. This also have its own after ratio plus this constraint, which is 40. You see, let's say 340 is totally different from 640. What's gonna happen is, is this guy will be stretched out. It's gonna be like, oh, in a lot of phone screen size. This whole text will be like really long text. You see what I mean? The aspect ratio is different. You're not, oh, because you're not checking the aspect ratio to keep it on the label, yes. it's not necessary. Yes. So if you didn't have the aspect ratio, uh, it, would still, it would work just fine. Even Right, if you fix the screen, like if you fix the size, it will work just fine. If you, if you fix the size of, let's say, this is three, uh, not 300, like, okay, this width is 300, and this is 50. And this is also, and this is like maybe 100, and this is 25, assuming like that way. If you fix this screen size, because not screen size, rather like a, the, a width and height of this logo and the text, then yes, it will maintain. But that thing is gonna go up. But yeah, this thing will go uh, rather than scratch out, like stretch out, it will go up along with this guy. Mm -hmm. So instead of like um, pulling together at this in the center, it will pull up all the way to the top. So when we set like the the, the constraints <coughs> for the space, should we set from should we set it from like uh, like the bottom to the top? So like the so like this text field, we should should it be set from the like the so like the top spacing should be set and not the bottom spacing? Yeah. Because you, uh, it could affect this whole, the rest of the thing, which you cannot even imagine. Mm -hmm. so, so, we, so this puts constraint on this, which puts constraint on this. Yes. This is kind of like hierarchy. Kind of like, on yeah. like this is dependent on this guy positions in general sense. But rather than like this guy trying to make changes to this guy, this will change itself. Why you don't want to add bottom constraints, and that's the reason why 
you want to start from the top and leave all the connection that if you have anything bottom like a, a below or the specific field just leave it empty like blank and then you will have something that would depend on this above from the bottom so we put a, a top constraint on the label so uh, so this guy will have its own constraint here and here and here okay. but this guy will instead of going error downward it will be error upward from here so that you won't, your text won't be stretched out. But it will go up, it won't be stretched out. It won't be stretched out, yeah, it will go up. Uh, but of course you can change this margin however you like. All right, let's say there's I have two, box, two buttons. Mm -hmm. I want to constrain them to the center and at uh, the, same, uh, uh, the same distance between each other no matter the way. What do you I, mean? I want to put a distance constraint, a constraint between the two buttons. I also want to make them center. You mean like a button, full button, like in the middle? No, 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 side by side. Oh, okay, side by side. Uh, when you say center, do you mean like center? So you have like a center of 50? Like this center? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that you can do. That you can do that. But you have to make sure that these two boxes are like button size are the same. Meaning you have to make it fix. <coughs> Aspect ratio, if you, so what's gonna happen is if you fix aspect ratio, they're okay, gonna grow, yes. but they're still gonna be at the same distance in the middle. They're still gonna be the same distance, but the, the button will be a little bit small, not at the same time. Means one of them could be smaller than the other one. Oh, no, let's say they're the same, we put down at the same size, but fix the aspect ratio. Um, okay, and then uh, what else they're gonna do? They're gonna grow, stay in the middle, there's the problem with the button is that it depends on what, whatever word you put inside the button. The aspect ratio depends on whatever word, whatever uh, like a text you put inside the button. You yeah, but if you you can grab yeah. the so what, you can what, grab the button to like change the size. Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting question. Yeah. So what happens is if you say sign in, right? The sign in. We're fitting like the, okay, so let's say this is um, initially 50-30, and you have a sign-in button like 50-30, uh, right? And then you, let's say you have sign distance 60 from each other. If you put after ratio, it's gonna reduce this exactly touching it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the problem. That's, and this just happens with button. Not this button, also with the text field. Text button, like I'm sure the text but like label. But with the image, it doesn't. Image, it doesn't, because image is... What if you do, do a UI image that is a button? You could, right? Mm -hmm. You could have a touch just to recognize it, but that is not a button. You see what I mean? Yeah, but you can make it kind of like a button, right? You can make it kind of like a button, yes. But not really a button, because you can... You can sort of like have an image or like a touch that you're working on it, but that doesn't yeah, have to be Yeah, I want to like... But um, at the same time, it's just clean and custom buttons. Well, like I said, um, if you just put image inside the button, the worst case scenario will be your button could get really large. Yeah. Because they use original image size. But if you put it inside the image view, because you, you know, because you put margin in on these things, that restrains the image you can go overboard. Okay. You see what I mean? Since they are connected to the margin, it won't affect the rest of the things. But for this guy, this is relying on each other. Yeah, but you also have them centered to the container. You have them centered to the whole container. When you say center, like, do you mean this? This is like center. Yeah. Do you mean like this line center of the whole container? Yeah. Um, you can, can you do that? No. Why? You cannot do that because they don't recognize this line. The Xcode cannot recognize this line. This, X, this line is only exists between these two buttons. That's, that's why. <laughs> so this line is invisible for the result. So the way it would, it would be like through a Swift, do? through Swift and get the, uh, let's say you get the uh, screen size and you actually code the distance to change based on the screen. Here's the thing, um, there's a trick to that. If
if you want to, let's say, keep specific distance from mm -hmm. the middle, why don't you just say, I want this button to be some distance away from the middle and okay, so yeah. That makes sense. You're not margining on this line. You're margining from the middle. middle. Yeah, from the middle. And then you and can... And then you also like go from the top. Yeah, from the top. So from the top, rather than from the top, from the like this and this. this and no, you wouldn't go on this side. Because you have it through the middle. Well, well, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, if you do it from the middle, yeah. But you do want to do it like a lot and a little bit. Uh, actually, you don't even need it, actually. You can just tap again, right? Yeah, top is most important, you're right. Top is most important, top. Because you want to keep it at a certain distance. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you center it from the middle, yeah. one part, and then you stay. Like, you keep the same distance from each point to the middle. You, you can spin them to the middle of the screen. How do you compare them? So, we already use your high high ratio for the screen view, right? Mm -hmm. Not for also, aspect ratio, so the text fail uh, has its own aspect ratio, but of course you can add it, like for the height, but uh, technically speaking, um, it's only mainly for the image, also for the text label, because label should be, um, should get larger depending on the screen size. If you just remain like small, like a fixed size, I think some people would some help them to see the screen and you know the reason why people use large screens is to see the text in you know, large right, right. Okay. size. Yeah. That's the main purpose of having an iPad. Kind of like you want to keep it large in large array. Or if you if you're someone who wants to fit in everything in an iPad, then that's a different story. Then you can fit whatever you want. <coughs> So do you got the general gist of what's happening here? Right? Right, 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 I mean, don't come to me if you don't know anything about all of them, okay? I'm just telling you about this right now, because this is the most important, because most people still have trouble understanding this. And, um, but I hope people get what I'm trying to say, no? No, no, I do. When I was designing Twitter, I ran into so many problems. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me like an hour, but I kind of got the hang of it. So when you're explaining it, it makes more sense. Yeah. 